Hi guys and welcome to this, my 11th shout out, believe it or not, it uh, soon flies by doesn't it? I'd just like to say at the start, uh, I apologise if I keep clearing my throat or if that's uh, putting anybody off, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I went to see a throat specialist and had a camera put down my nose and my throat and into my esophagus, which wasn't a very nice experience, but I found out that my uh, mucous membrane is irritated. Uh, for one reason or another so I have to clean my throat a lot uh, I get a lot of phlegm so I'm really really sorry if my voice starts to go in the video and I have to clean my throat I just thought I'd get that out of the way and apologise to you all beforehand uh, I've got three artists for you this time around uh, three artists that I really like and they have I've followed for quite a while now and so please go to the uh, YouTube channels please subscribe to them please give them your support the links will be in the description so let's begin this shout out and the first artist is Rick J Barub. Now I'm not sure if it's Barub or Baruba or Baruba or so I'm very sorry Rick if I'm pronouncing it wrong but I'll go with Barub for now um, until you tell me otherwise but uh, very sorry about that but uh, Rick is a very diverse artist he's self-taught and he loves to paint landscapes seascapes flowers in oils and acrylics he draws portraits of people and animals he's dabbled in mixed media charcoal colored pencil and he believes in paint it forward which I go for that myself too this first one is a pencil drawing obviously of Mr Bean great likeness there I love the loose style and it's uh, but really well done the second one is a, a bird in a daisy bush, I believe, or a, a something bush, acrylic painting. But uh, I really like this because it's really done in a sort of a traditional style. I like the flowers. It's not, the bird stands out really well. The flowers aren't, you know, so defined that they take it away from the bird. So I like that. Uh, this one is a macaw, another acrylic painting. And again, I love the face on this. It's really cute, really well done. I like the colours in the background as well. Uh, this next one is Michael Jackson and this was done with pastels and quite a nice likeness there again uh, rest in peace Michael I don't know whether Rick's a fan of Michael's but I don't know many people that aren't to be honest but uh, that's really well done again so well done on that one Rick uh, this next one is an American bald eagle um, not sure whether this is an acrylic or oil uh, maybe oil from the shine on it maybe but i like the, the the white feathers are beautifully done on this i really love the way it blends into that gray background and the the eyes also well done it's another really good piece this one i believe is uh ariana rick's daughter and this is an acrylic uh, portrait of his daughter and i think that's really sweet really well captured and it, it even though you don't know her, it tells a story and you feel like you do sort of thing it's really well done, I like the uh, flesh colour, I like the way he's done the eyes and the hair, which is not easy to do, he's really well done. This is a, a mix-up of uh, Walking Dead drawings that he did, obviously Michonne on the top left, going over to the top right is Negan, uh, Rick bottom right and Daryl bottom left. All well done, uh, I uh, particularly like the, the way he's captured Rick, I think that's uh, really good likeness and like that hair must have took a long time and the beard. I can relate to that because I do a lot of that myself. Now, I really like some of Rick's paintings. Uh, a lot of them really shout out to you. If it feels like you're actually sitting and looking at the scene, and this is one of those. I love the reflection on the water and the mountain in the background, how deep that blue is. And the trees at the foreground really make you look through to that mountain, and I really like that. It's really well done. Uh, this is a, uh, is this a crimson sunset oil painting? Um, I really really like this as well um, I just like that the trees in the foreground again the black that that black and you can you can see the colors in the background the sky I really like the way he's done it it's really well done and this is one of my favorite pieces by Rick I really 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 love this and um, this is the uh, crimson sunset oil painting uh, I absolutely love this again the trees in the foreground make you feel like you're sitting there and then looking out over the lake into the sky and that sky is brilliantly done Superb, I really really like that. So well done, one of my favourites. Uh, these two uh, are ships, one's in oil and one's in acrylic. I think the one on the right is in acrylic maybe, I might be wrong, I think it is though. 
Uh, but my father really liked these because my father really liked ships. But again, well done. I like the way the sea is done and the sky. This is another uh, one of those that you can sit and look at. This is a deep forest oil painting. And again, I like the way it's done. I like the depth of this one. I like the reflection of the trees, the trunks on the water. And I like the further you get into the water, you can see that light, light whiteness coming down off the, the edge. I like that. Uh, these are four landscape paintings. I thought I'd put these together. Um, again, all really well done. And I believe that the one with the light, lighthouse may have uh, won an award for something. or um, I couldn't really get uh, as much information as I wanted on that one. But again, all these uh, landscape paintings are really well done. He's really skilled, really skilled artist. Um, I really like his stuff. And this last one is a tribute to 9-11 which speaks for itself. I really like that, it's really cool. Um, I think it was uh, done rather quickly because it was for uh, actually for that day, for that event, uh, for the anniversary, obviously. So yeah, please go over and support Rick. Uh, show him some love, uh, subscribe to his channel. Give him some support, su support, sorry. And let's move on to our next artist, which is Poor North Art or Poor North Art. Sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong again. But uh, this is a guy from India, and I've got a lot of time for this guy because um, he's a big part of our community. You see him everywhere on everyone's channel giving lovely comments, and he's always been really supportive of me. And um, he's just, just a nice guy. Uh, in his own words, he loves art, it's his life, and he started his channel for sharing his artwork with you guys. So that speaks for itself also, and uh, again, shows what a nice guy he is. This is Alia Bhatt, an Indian, an Indian actress. I think she's British citizenship, but uh, she works on Indian films in Bollywood. And that's really well captured, a really good drawing, I really like that. This is one of the first ones that I ever saw by him. And this is a deer in a misty forest, and this is a charcoal drawing. And this is what drew me to him in the first place. I really, really like that. The use of light is absolutely fantastic. I love the, 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 the real darkness of the bushes in the background, and then that light coming through and highlighting the deer. I think that's really, really well done. I really, really like that. And like I said, that's what drew me to him in the first place. But my favourite thing about this artist are his landscapes. Uh, I believe that he paints in oil, and uh, this is one of the first paintings he did, I think. I'm not sure, but uh, I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but for a, a, an artist who's not been using oils that long, uh, he really, really does a good job. There's some really nice detail in that. And as you can see from this next one, wow. It, again, it's one of those paintings like Rick. You feel like you can sit there and you can almost hear the birds singing in the river flowing. Uh, the trees, the details in the trees is absolutely superb on both sides, the left and the right. I really like that contrast, the light on the left. Um, it's really, really well done. Um, fantastic detail, really well painted, so well done on that. Uh, this is a self-portrait. Uh, I'm not sure who of. Uh, Sorry, I've written self-portrait down here. It's obviously not a self-portrait of the artist, but uh, it's a portrait <laughs> that he's done. Um, really well done again. Sorry for the confusion there. Um, this is another one of his uh, landscapes, uh, hillside landscape. Again, really well done. I think this is one of his earlier works as well. But I just love the way this guy draws grass and trees because it's a bit tedious drawing these things all the time and it's not you know everyone's cup of tea. But he manages it really well and uh, it really does look like grass and trees which is a testament to his skill now this is a self-portrait this is what i wrote that down for and put it in the wrong place but this is the guy himself i believe um really well drawn again uh really light pencil work but uh the details there as well i believe this is alia bart again so maybe he's a big fan of hers but another drawing that's well done i like the way he's blended the light in the background that's also not easy to do. And this next one is a Krisha painting or a Kana drawing. And wow, I love this. Uh, the detail is fantastic and the colour is absolutely superb. That's that's on a professional level. I really like that. It's uh, really well done. Uh, the hair is absolutely fantastic. And the moon behind the head is perfectly done. 
it's not alpha stated and again the, the tree work is brilliant uh this one is uh is i don't know whether to say ganesha or ganesha or ganesh uh i'll say uh ganesh ganesha uh, this is done in pastels and again so well done beautiful colors really really well done sorry if i offend anybody with more pronunciations but uh i'm doing the best i can uh, this again is uh, Ganesha or Ganesha, the Lord or Lord Ganesha. Um, this is a pencil drawing that took quite a few hours to draw, I think. And you can see uh, there's the drawing uh, as opposed to the, the real one on the right. And the drawing to me actually looks better. Um, I like how dark he's gone with it. His darks are dark enough. So it, it, it makes the rest of the drawing pop out and stand out well. And this is the finished drawing. I mean, wow, that's absolutely superb. Great blending, great shading, great use of light again. I like the colour in the background. He's done that really well. And the detail is there again. So, yeah, please go and support Poor North Math Art. And sorry about the pronunciation again, my friend. Uh, but please give me your support. Show him some love. And I'm surely really appreciate it. And the third artist this week is Iron Gordon Art. Now, I really, really love this guy as well. I think he's absolutely superb. He uh, primarily makes signs and paints signs. He makes them himself. Uh, he, he, in his own words, it's lowbrow art and sign making. Uh, you can go to his big cartel site and see the stuff that he's selling if you're that way inclined. And I love this guy. While I show you uh, some of his sketches at the beginning, uh, these are his words. Uh, I reach a point in every painting where I think this looks like hot garbage juice. I should scrap the whole thing. Then I start to question my morals and my life choices up to this point. Who am I as a person? How am I going to save for retirement? Is the earth flat? Why can I never gain the respect of my neighbour's dog? Yeah, I'll just keep painting and hey, have a happy Monday. <laughs> That's a great way of looking at things. Uh, that, those were a couple of sketches that you've just seen because he does a lot of ink work and pencil work, I think. Uh, this one is uh, a design that he's cut out himself and you can see that he's laid the uh, design onto the top of it. Um, I'm just trying... Oh yeah, it's Camellia Roses uh, with a lace background. Uh, it's painted in acrylics on top. And that's the finished piece. Wow. I mean how smooth the finish is on that i mean that's a, a talent in itself and an art in itself but then to do the design on it and to paint it in that well it's really skilled really well done and i, I really like that uh this one is uh a crustaleum think custom goon zombie smurf hand piece believe it or not and uh, he did this uh he cut it out and then he put a high gloss epoxy resin on it uh, painted with acrylic again it's a one shot, that's the finished piece. Again, so skillfully done. Can't tell you how skillful this guy is. And um, I just wanted to show you uh, this next one, the Broken Dreams one. I wanted to show you a bit more of the process. Because uh, he starts from scratch and he, he cuts all this out himself and builds all the wood up himself, glues it all together, gets all the parts ready. And then he, he, he paints the lettering onto it and the details uh, before he sticks the pieces together. But this one, I remember watching this video and like I, I remember watching him do all this to this stage and it's a lot of work. But then on this next next bit, I cringed because it could have gone so wrong and he knew that himself. Uh, but he just basically broke the board, the skateboard in the middle because that's, you know, the, the, the theme is broken dreams. So it's a broken skateboard on the... On, on a cloud uh, but when he actually did this and snapped it and broke it I thought oh my god um, no pun intended how did he uh, do that without uh, panicking or you know imagine having to start again but that's the finished piece and you can see it really really works I really really like that it's really cool and uh, it, it, it actually works the broken board with dreams through the middle of it and you can see where there's the break in it so it's really really coolly done this one I absolutely love as well. This is a uh, the Lego Deadpool. Uh, uh, and this one's <laughs> actually on this. He put because Iron Gordon is for kids, and that gave me a chuckle, made me laugh. But that's superbly done. Really, really cool. Uh, love the colouring on it. Love the the design. Love the shape. Uh, this next one is uh, Kill Them. He wanted to uh, make it Kill Them, but he found out that Selena Gomez. 
Gomez had already got an album by the same name. But hey, what can you do uh, in this age we're living in? It's best not to uh, chance it. Uh, so he did it, kill them instead. Kill them with kindness. And that's another really, really good design. Uh, you can uh, go to his Instagram, go to his uh, YouTube, linked in the description. And he's got drawings for sale. I'm sure he's still got some up. Uh, so please go and support him. And if you like his stuff, uh, why not give it a buy? Or even ask him if you know you want a design doing for a sign for your keys or something. Get it done. Hey, let's support each other. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm going to leave it now with what a rehash for an artist that was featured on a past uh, shout out. And this is Davey JY Art, who draws a lot of movie tie ins, uh, anime, and dinosaur stuff, primarily uh, dinosaur stuff, which I really love. And he uses ink. So I'm going to leave you with his work now. I'm going to tie some music into it. And you can just look at your leisure and enjoy Davy's work. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, please subscribe to all these wonderful artists. All the links are in the description, like I said. And I'll see you all soon. Ta-ra.